All right, so I thought this would be kind of cool, fun, informative, whatever you want to call it, video of shopping at Whole Foods on a budget. I'm gonna get my life, get my lifestyle, my diet, everything in order. Shopping at Whole Foods can really hurt your pockets. And if you're on a budget or if you're money conscious, I think it's important to know how to shop and there should be no excuse as to why you can't eat better. Whole Foods, nice specialty shop, uh, organic health food store. I spent $50.61 and I got, you know, uh, two, two bags, which I think, you know, two bags is remarkable, okay? So, I'm gonna show you what I got. I'm gonna give you guys a couple of tips how to shop there so you don't spend or break the bank, okay? I'm just gonna run through these things quickly. Um, yeah, okay, so first I got brown jumbo cage-free, you know, eggs, okay? These were like $3 and some change. Some organic bananas. Tea was on sale, so I got some honey vanilla chamomile tea by uh, Celestial Seasoning. It's not the best brand for tea, but you know, it gets the job. Uh, sesame seed whole wheat flour crackers, which is about $1.99. And then I got these corn thins, organic sesame, kind of like, um, what are they called? Rice cakes, but these are corn. So GMO free, organic. I'm gonna use this as an alternative to when I might want bread. So, you know, I might put some peanut butter, peanut butter and jelly on it. Um, now, in these brown bags are items that I bought basically in bulk. I got some, uh, in this bag I have pinto beans. Got, um, what is this, coconut sugar. This is a heavy one, so it's probably rice or beans. I got, this is uh, just brown rice. The bag is filled up to about here. Medjool dates, which are just like a natural sweetener. I use these in some of my baking recipes or munch on them when I feel like it. They're real good to me. Sliced almonds, this is like two bucks. And this has to be another kind of bean. Black eyed peas, okay? And those come to about here in the bag. That's my first bag. I got, um, this is toasted coconut almond milk. Uh, no sugar added, it's vegan, it's delicious. Um, yeah, real good, real, real good. Ingredients, almond milk and coconut cream. That's all this is. Uh, lemon raspberry Italian sparkling mineral water, which is just an alternative to bubbly delicious soda vegetable broth which i'm going to use for my beans and i'm trying something out with the creamer because i drink coffee every day and so this is hazelnut coconut milk creamer so i'll see how this is i got two containers of hummus original and jalapeno these were like two dollars and forty cents a piece last i'm trying something this is a a vegan parfait a chocolate parfait yeah and for some reason the lid came off but yeah this was four bucks so yeah that was a good fraction of <laughs> um cost that I spent today. I think I did really well. So just to give you guys some tips, when you are shopping at Whole Foods or if you want to try to get your life, get your lifestyle together and Whole Foods is near you or you want to try to shop there but you have uh, been reluctant or deterred because of the high prices, how you shop there is one, buy in bulk. As you guys saw my brown bags, they have cereals, grains, um, dried fruit, nuts, flowers, sugars. Um, so things like that are actually really, really good deals in terms of price. They are uh, right in line or comparable to your traditional grocer. So that's one. Second, um, the next thing is 
try to stay away from specialty brands. This is when you actually want to shop the store brand, the 365 brand, okay? This is a Whole Foods brand, okay? Their prices are, you know, they're good. You know, their prices are good. You know, this is $1.99. This is the same price as Trader Joe's, which Trader Joe's has good pricing in my opinion. Um, they had some that were three dollars okay and those brands i completely stayed away from so stick with the whole foods brand buy in bulk and then you know there are going to be some other brands um that are there that are still reasonably priced um like celestial seasonings i mean this is cheap tea and it was the cheapest tea they had which is why i bought it from there and it was on sale and i think i still paid a little bit more um, from Whole Foods for this than I would if I would have went to Walmart. But nonetheless, you can get your life on a budget. No excuses, ladies. So thank you guys for watching. Make sure you check me out on Sheath Rise, which is sheathrisenetwork.com. I also have a recipe for um, a really delicious kind of like a flour-free um, breakfast muffin, okay, which is what I use the dates for. I'll put a link for you guys it's on the blog check that out uh, make sure you're following me on instagram uh facebook which you know i'm kind of active but not really but still follow me over there um, and thank you again for supporting let me know what you guys thought about this video if you shop at whole foods or if you shop uh healthy or organic how do you do it on a budget and i got uh this tip actually of shopping at whole foods from a cashier at whole foods when i got about five six items and spent over mm, close to thirty dollars so i think i did really well and um anyway i'll talk to you guys on the next video bye y'all hugs <laughs>